Hi there, we are going to continue where we left off the last time. So we are going to build uh, the uh, progress list. That's the list contains the images being uploaded. This is the list. We are going to build this. We're going to create a folder inside the upload. We will call it progress list. This will contain three components. The progress list itself that contains the images and the progress item, which is the image inside of it, the progress bar. We are going to use the circular progress bar and we will put inside it a label that shows the percentage. We will start building the circular progress. We are going to use uh, material UI to build this circular progress and we are going to add inside of it um, the percentage. We are going to give it a size of 60. And the thickness of the line is 5. The variant is uh, determinate, so it can recognize the value. It is not infinite loop. The size is depends on the value. This box will contains the percentage, which is the value. We'll add the props to this typography. We need the color to be white and we will make the parent to be uh, black transparent. Now we are going to start the parent to cover all the image. So we need to make it uh, positioned absolute, top zero, right zero, bottom zero, left zero. And we are going to make the display flex and we will align the items inside of it center and justify the content also center. So the percentage will be exactly in the center. Now let's start building the progress item. It will contain the image and also the progress. And when the uploading is finished, we will show a checkbox before we make it disappear.
we will make uh, four images in the same row so every image will occupy one column This is the image. We need to copy a source link from maybe the images list, one of them. Inside this box, we will show even the circular progress or the checkbox that it is already uploaded. We'll copy the styling from here because it is almost the same. We just need to add a, a background, transparent background, black transparent so we can see the white text of the percentage we created an object and we will assign this object to a set Uh, we are going to test the progress uh, value so we are going to make a state for this progress and we will put some value maybe 50 and we will assign that progress to the value of a circular progress Now we will check the progress. If it is less than 100, we are going to show the circular progress. And when it reaches 100, we will show the checkbox that it is already uploaded. We will assign the progress to the value of the circular progress. And this is the check icon to show that the image is already uploaded. We'll give it a width of 60. Height also of 60. And the color will, will be lighter green. Let's import the progress item here in the progress list to check if everything is working.
Let's now import the progress list inside the upload under the form. And now let's check our work. Working correctly. Let's add more items. Looks nice. Now let's make them show the real images that we select to be uploaded. So we need to make a state for files. and we will set these files using the form and we will assign these files to the progress list we will pass the function set files to the form and we will pass the files selected to the progress list Let's import this prop. We need to add a function on change. We need to set the files when there is a change in the import. So let's create this function. And we will set the files with the images has been selected. We assigned this now to the input so we can upload the same image if, if we want again because um, if it is a stay the same value when you choose the same image it will not trigger a change function now let's go to the progress list and import this prop We are going to loop through these files. And assign them one by one to the progress item. Let's import the file that assigned to this progress item.
we are going to make a state for image URL and we will create a URL from this file and assign it to this image URL. We will use use effect and this use effect will trigger every time there is a change in the file. and we will set the image URL with the URL we created using this file. Now let's change the source of this image to the new URL. Let's check our work. And it is working. Let's try to change the percentage, I mean the progress value. That looks perfect. Now let's try to upload uh, multiple images. It looks like it is not working. Let's check the input inside the form. The multiple is not working. It looks like the material UI input is different than the normal input. In this case, we need to add input props and add uh, multiple as a property inside that object. Let's check now. Perfect. Now we need to work on the functionality. So we need to move and create a new project inside Firebase. So let's create a project now. We will call it React Firebase Gallery. Press continue. We'll disable this for now. Let's create web application. Give it any name. Now we have this configuration, let's copy it. Let's create a new folder inside the source. We'll call it Firebase.
create a new file we'll call it config to save these and we will install the Firebase let's continue let's create a storage to save our files inside it for now we will choose a test mode Now choose the server that it is close to your expected users. Our storage has been created. Let's check the rules. The rules is allowing anyone to read and write. We will add delete because we are going to add this functionality. And this rule is not secure at all, but this is for now. After that, we will change these rules to make it more secure. Now let's create the database. We will choose also the test mode. Let's check the rules. We need to add here delete and update as well. Let's add more configuration to the Firebase config file and export these objects in case we need them in another files. This is for the storage that we are going to store inside it, uh, the images. Let's import it. And this is for the database. This imported too. Of course, we are not going to show these uh, keys to the users we will hide them in environment variables but later not now let's start by adding the functionality of uploading images inside the storage let's create a new file we will call it upload file progress
this function will receive the file we need to upload the subfolder inside the storage the image name and we need also to pass the set progress to this function to set the progress in the progress item component and because this function will wait for other promises we will make it retain a promise in case of successful of these promises or there are errors triggered by these promises let's create a reference for this file inside the storage the subfolder will carry the name of the user ID the image name will make it unique using UUID upload will watch this function while uploading this file This upload watcher will trigger with every change, even a snapshot of that change, or there is an error, or the upload is completed. In case of the snapshot of the change, we will calculate the progress. by extracting the bytes transferred and divide it by the whole bytes would be transferred multiplied by 100 to make it a percentage and we will set a progress every time with this value in case of error We will reject this promise and pass that error. And when the upload is finished, we need to get the URL of that file inside the storage. and we will resolve the promise and passing that URL and if there is an error also we will reject the promise and passing back that error let's go to the progress item component and use this function to upload to upload the image let's go to the use effect and create a sync function to call that recently created function we'll call it upload image
let's install the UID package so we are going to use it uh, to create the unique name for the image This will bring us the extension of the image. Now we are going to call our function. We will pass to this function, the file, the subfolder inside the storage, the name of the image, and uh, the set progress function. We will simulate here the ID of the user. This ID later we will receive it during the authentication from Firebase. If there is error, we will use the normal alert for now and later we are going to create our alert system. And we will log that error to check the details of error for now because we are still under development. If everything is successful, we will console log the URL for now and we will use it later to save it inside the database so we can extract the uploaded the already uploaded on images. We will set now the image URL to now so we can make the image inside the progress list disappeared.
let's check if we can upload images it looks like this working let's try another it's working two more nice let's check our storage in Firebase if, if the images are there and here are our images it looks like when we upload the percentage is uh, in a fraction so we need to round it and add the percentage sign Let's try now with big image so we can see it clearly. Perfect. Let's remove these images because there is no record inside the database and we are not going to mix it with the other images that we are going to upload later. Let's create a function to add these records in the database. We will call it add document. This function will receive the collection name, the document object, and the ID of that document. And that ID of the document would be the name of the image. So we can, after that, delete that image easily from the storage because we already had uh, the, uh, the name of that image. We need to create a reference to that document uh, inside the collection. This DB is the object we exported in Firebase config file. Let's import it. Now let's retain the promise of setting that document into the database. This is the object we received in the parameter. And we will add the timestamp of the server. So we can reorder the images being added from new to the old.
let's export it now and we are going to use it inside the progress item after we receive the URL from the storage we can add that URL into the database let's create the object that we are going to add for this image inside the database it will include the image URL, that's the URL we received after we uploaded the image into the storage and uh, the user ID and we need also to add the email, the name and the avatar of the user so we can add the avatar of the user in the right corner of the image and when we list these images inside the images list we don't need to request for every image that the user details uh, all the time it's already included in the record of the image now let's call our function to add this uh, object into the database The image name will be the ID of the document. Now when we saved, the React rendered the last state and uploaded the image into the storage. So now let's check if the image uh, object also added to the database and it is added here all of our information is here let's check it again with two images let's check the database and the storage needs to be refreshed only so let's check the storage first it is here, three images and also in the database, three records for these images let's now show these already uploaded images in the images list we are going to create here a hook, we will call it use Firestore hook and this uh, hook will be responsible for extracting these images from the database and watch any change in these uh, records if there is a new image added it will be also reflected in the images list let's create state for these records or documents this function will receive a collection name as a parameter and the default uh, value would be gallery if we call it without a parameter let's create a query to extract these images
we will bring them from the gallery and they are going to be ordered by the date from new to old let's set now a listener for the changes in the in our collection This listener or watcher will trigger a snapshot of that uh, collection or an error if there is an error in the network or any kind of error. When there is a snapshot of that collection, we are going to create an array of these documents and we will set the document state to this array. And with every change, we are going to retain these documents to the component using this hook. Let's clean the listener. Now let's replace the static images array we used before with these documents we are going to receive from the database. So let's use this hook. And add the documents here in the loop and replace the key to be the ID. Also the image URL. The title or the alternative of the image would be the name of the user and if it is not available, we are going to use the email of the user. And the same for the tool tip. Here we are going to replace the title. The date also with the timestamp.
the avatar as well. And we will pass the image ID to the options to be used in the uh, in the delete uh, function. Now let's delete the old array. Let's check now. It's working. Let's add more images. Perfect. Now let's work on the delete. We are going to add two functions, one to delete the record or the document from the database and one to delete the file from the storage. Let's start by deleting the document. We will receive the collection name and the ID of the document we need to delete. We will retain the promise of deleting the document. Using this reference. Now let's work on the delete of the file. We will receive the file path. We'll create a reference for that path. And we'll retain the promise of deleting that file. Now let's use them in the options component. We will receive the image ID. And when there is a click on the delete button, we are going to trigger the function handle delete.
let's build it it is async function because we are going to wait for a promises We'll delete first the record. We will first delete the document from the database. Then we delete the file from the storage. Let's import it. and pass it the collection and the image ID and this is the path of the image in the storage of Firebase We need here the ID of the user, so let's simulate it. And this is the whole path of the image inside the storage. Let's check. It's working. Let's delete all the images. So we are going to check in the database if they are still there. and they are gone in the next video we are going to build our authentication system and we are going to apply rules to make the database and the storage secure we don't want the user to upload files into our database and into our storage without knowing who is that user and that's why we are going to build our authentication system and apply the security rules